And we're here today in our Naples Research Facility. Our Naples Research Facility is one site of many we have globally. We have actually seven sites globally that we perform watermelon breeding at. In the United States, we have Naples, and in California, we have Woodland. Our focus and efforts being on the entire complete package, and that being disease resistance, quality, yield for the grower, a quality, desirable product for the consumer that brings them back for more. And we've been successful, starting with varieties like this, fascination, and continuing on over the past 10 years. What I'm holding right now is a variety fascination, which we first introduced approximately eight years ago. This was helped start it at all. Fascination is known for quality, disease resistance, yield. With that introduction, we followed up with captivation, which we have down here in our trials a little bit further, and then exclamation, trying to take off and build around the success of this variety fascination. And most recently, we're coming out with varieties such as Sweet Dawn, which is behind me, which is a little bit different segment as far as maturity being early and a different genetic background to the credit of Sagenta and our research programs. It's un uh, unlike what it was several years ago, we have multiple backgrounds and genetic diversity that we're bringing into the market to further help provide a better adaptability, more variety differentiation, and something that will better fit the different growing regions within the watermelon production areas of the United States. In the case of Fascination, which you see in front of you, you'll notice immediately right off the bat, the beautiful, gorgeous, dark red, deep color Nice flush contrast with the rind, beautiful quality, excellent shape, excellent rind appearance, and the right size for the consumer and the broker to take to the market. People will come back and ask for the variety by name. This variety is now considered a standard in the market that brokers, growers, and consumers are even now aware of and ask for.